I am Subhan and you are watching my channel Astronomy and Cosmology so let's start this video on the concept of time travel. In this video we are going to know that what is the time travel, how the time travel is possible and can we go to the past, can we go to the future and many things about it. I will tell you all these things and I will tell you the answers of these questions also. Let's start this video. So the time travel is very popular concept among the scientists, physicists and the common people also who likes the physics. So the what is the time travel? First of all we have to understand it. Then we will talk about it. Many questions which I have told you. So the time travel is going from one time to another one time. You can easily understand the time travel. Uh, for example, if I want to go to 2036, what I have to do? I have to wait for 17 years. No. But if in the time travel concept, we don't have to wait for 17 years, I can go to 2036 from now only, within one year. So this is the concept of the time travel. Going from one time to another one without spending the real time, the physical time between them. The time is the fourth dimension according to the Einstein theory of spatial relativity. And I have made a video on it also. You can watch my video, my previous video on the theory of relativity, you can watch it. From this you will know about the theory of relativity. So the spatial relativity describes that the time is relative. It means that uh, our place describes the time, our place affects the time. If uh, you are in a black hole or you are near a black hole, your time will be slowed down. Or if you are in a planet where the, you are very far from the gravity, then the time will very fast for you. As the whole we can say that the time is related with the speed and the gravity. I have told you the gravity. So your place affects the time. So this is the concept of the gravity. Other thing is that the speed. Albert Einstein also describes in his general relativity and the spatial also that uh, if you anything or if you can say any object will travel at the speed of light or about the speed of light then the time will be slowed down. So for example to make this concept easier and easier for you I am taking an example. If you think that you are 10 years old and you leave the earth and your classmates all of them were also the 10 years old and when you leave the earth and you said them that I will come after the 5 years and you were traveling at the speed of light for 5 years and then you will came back to earth according to you your age must be 15 years old but when you will step on the earth your classmates will be 50 years old so you will Think that how it is possible I am only 15 years old but my classmates are 50 55 years old so this is the concept of the time travel as the whole we can say that the time depends upon the speed and the gravity so this is the concept of the time travel and I have explained you with the example then after that how can we do it Albert Einstein describes that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light but even we can't travel at the speed of light also because if we want to travel at the speed of light we need an infinite energy or the energy which is produced by the whole galaxy so it's impossible to all of us to take the energy of the whole galaxy to travel so to traveling at the speed of light is not possible okay any other ways also to exceed the limit of the speed of light Many of you are thinking that how can we exceed the limit of 300,000 kilometers per second? But it is possible without breaking the laws of the Einsteins, which predicts that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. So the way is LQ by Vrab drive, which means it is a gadget or an object which will allow us our spacecraft to travel faster than the speed of light without breaking the laws of the physics. Okay. So we know that the, there is a limitations of the speed but in it there is no limitation. We can travel as far as we can, as fast as we can. So how it is possible by this? So 
what will happen in this the space will wrap down behind us if we are a traveler and we are in the spacecraft and we are going at very high speed not at the speed of light but what will happen the LQ bar will bend the space time behind us okay so from this we can travel faster than the speed of light and uh, physics laws are also not breaking here the another way to time travel is a tipler cylinder this is also in theory also this is the hypothetical machine which can travel in the time what is inside it it is a very long machine in this there is a spring like structure around it and uh, it makes the possible time travel possible from it also then then we have to understand that can we go to the future or can we go to the past so yes we can go to the future but not to the past we can go future very easily because as i have already told you that if we go in near a uh, speed of light or any other planet or any galaxies or any place in the universe where the gravity is very strong then the time will slow down and from this we can travel to the future then we have to think can we travel to the past i have already told you that we can't travel so how can we not travel many of you are thinking that nothing is impossible for the science then how the science is saying that uh, time travel is not possible for the past but it is possible for the future only the reason is very easy to travel uh, to the past we need to exceed the limit of speed not by the LQ by drive in the physical state so it's not possible to anyone and the other thing is that the grandfather paradox which doesn't allow us to travel at the past so according to the science it is not possible to travel to the past but we can travel to the future so if you want to be a future traveler then you can go to your future and you can see your future so this was the concept of the time travel which i have tried to make it very simple and we will meet in a new video regarding to a new topic of cosmology